Also this evening, a neighborhood crime alert, a spike in beachside burglaries over the last 90 days in Jacksonville Beach. Now local police officers are rethinking their plan of action. Jacksonville Beach police officers say they are increasing their patrols in the areas with the highest number of vehicle break-ins. One Jacksonville Beach man says his wife's car was stolen from their driveway and valuable items were stolen out of his car. He spoke to Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell, who joins us live from Jack's Beach. Elizabeth. Well, Joey, he says their cars were locked, but Jacksonville Beach police say, unfortunately, that's not always the case. A lot of people leave their doors unlocked. Another mistake he says people make is they want to hide their keys when they're maybe coming to the beach. They don't want to take them with them, so they maybe try to hide them underneath a tire or sometimes even put them inside the gas tank. But police say do not do that. They say be smart, be vigilant. That can really help prevent these types of crimes. We were heading, uh, taking our boys to the beach and uh, walked out and noticed that uh, uh, my wife's car wasn't there. It turns out the Honda Pilot that belongs to Tanner DeLoach's wife was stolen sometime early in the morning on Sunday, September 11th. After the car was stolen from Jacksonville Beach, a man in this south side neighborhood says he walked out to his car in the driveway, noticed the front door was open. So he walked out into the street, then says he saw two people running towards a car. They got in, did a U-turn, sped past him without stopping, but he was able to get the license plate number. And then police confirmed it was the stolen car from Jacksonville Beach. That next Monday night that we actually got a call around 2.30 in the morning that they had found the vehicle uh, wrapped around a light pole. According to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, 17-year-olds Don Brown and Raymond Jones and 15-year-old Chase Grace were arrested that Tuesday morning on the south side after officers responded to Wood Hill Drive after reports of several people in an SUV going through the neighborhood and checking vehicle door handles. When officers arrived, the Honda Pilot sped off, then crashed into to a light pole, leading to the arrest of those three teens. A fourth teenager hasn't been caught. Jacksonville Beach police say in the past 90 days, there have been 133 car burglaries in the city. 113 of those were unlocked cars, meaning only 20 of those were forced entry break-ins. Well, please take the time each night before you go to bed, make sure you're locking your cars. Use your keyless entry as often as possible car stolen. His car was broken into. He had several items stolen, including a gun, a wallet, a watch, and several more items. Now, Jacksonville Beach Police are passing out these flyers reminding to lock it or lose it, hide your things, lock your car, take your keys. Again, do this, and hopefully this will help prevent these type of crimes from happening. Reporting live from Jacksonville Beach, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station.